You gotta admit, Samaritan's pretty efficient. But not efficient enough to stop the numbers from coming. We've just received a new one. I've sent John to investigate. I meant from stopping an innocent woman from making a terrible mistake. Taking out the bad guy. Yes. However, that bad guy deserved a trial by his peers. Well, you save the government some time and money. Are you ready for instantaneous judgment decided by an artificial intelligence that will lead to your demise, Ms. Shaw? Because I most certainly am not. Okay, not to stick up for Team Samaritan, but I used to do that for a living, remember? Eliminate targets at the behest of an AI. I just didn't know who was giving the orders. Look, wh why don't you ask her what she thinks? She's the one who wants us to bow down to our robot overlords. The machine isn't a robot, Sam. But I hear your analogy. It seems that Samaritan has been helping people across the city for a few days now. The machine sent me a message. She said that Rachel Farrell was just one of its stops. That tracks with what I'm seeing here. Buses, subways, trains, all running like clockwork. Nothing broken, nothing delayed. When was the last time that happened in New York? In my dreams, maybe. Samaritan's running the city. I believe it is. But why? What if it's trying to reach out to the machine the only way it knows how? But then why do it this way? Why not just... Well, I don't know. How do uh, artificial super intelligences usually talk to each other? These machines have avoided making contact with one another for good reason. If two dueling ASIs arrive at anything short of consensus, the outcome could be catastrophic. Two angry gods hurling boulders at one another while the ants scurry below. This may be a request for peace talks. Well, maybe they should just kiss and make up. To what end, Miss Shaw? Samaritan's plans will be many hundreds, if not thousands, of steps beyond what we can imagine. The machine will protect us. Even if I had succeeded in creating a benevolent machine, as if any such thing could exist. Never forget that even a so-called friendly artificial superintelligence would be every bit as dangerous as an unfriendly one. Your machine seems pretty warm and fuzzy to me. Have you forgotten that it asked us to kill a congressman? But that was to stop Samaritan from going online. So where does it end? Miss Shaw, congressman here? president there? What if one day a friendly AI decides to end world hunger by killing enough people off of the planet that there would never again be a shortage of food? It would have fulfilled its goal. But it doesn't exactly sound like it has our best interests at heart. Your machine would never do that. You don't know that, Ms. Groves. To say that a machine is benevolent doesn't make it so. It just makes you blind to the reality. Which is? that our moral system will never be mirrored by theirs because of the very simple reason that they are not human. <laughs>